Jink and everybody else. With all the Wall Street protests that are going on all around the country and the continuing protests of the entire world against gigantic uh, banks and corporations and the wealthy buying off our political systems for their own personal benefit, instead of trying to fix the system and trying to take the money out of our politics, basically like Citizens United and all that stuff, should we not possibly try to push for a political reform as in the government function? Now, of course, the corporations and the rich and the politicians will fight tooth and nail against this because that's how they make all their money. But I think a good way to get a politician to see if they really truly serve the people or their donors would be to ask them this. Basically, set up a computer system all around the world, or just what's the same for the United States, all around the United States, and all public areas like libraries and etc., to where anyone can go there and if they're a registered voter, they vote on the issues. The politicians, they can stay there, but they have no power. They just represent the problems and talk about them and try to push their views. And so when they try to push a view for a particular bill that the people proposed, they don't propose bills. There would be a whole online system where people decide a bill, and if they want it to be pushed, and they push it if it gets enough votes, then they represent it, and then all the sides for about two months tr debate about it. There is no stage media, no one side, everything. Everyone from everyone can basically go up there and say what they feel about this policy, and then the people have about two months to vote on it. And then when it gets the majority of the vote, that policy passes. It doesn't take like 60 votes of senators or anything like that. They, all they do is just represent and talk about the problems. They just have no power. All they can do is talk. They don't vote on anything. And so the people would vote on all the issues, whether like whether we want to borrow more money from China, or if we want to continue to give tax cuts to the rich, or to limit the EPA, stuff like that. We decide that. And then all sides, scientists, economics, econ economists, they come up and they address the issues and give all the details on facts, not where they just say things or whatever, they just lie out their butt like Fox News. It all has to be presented by facts, and after about ten, after two months, the people will go to their public areas, and if they're registered voters, then they go ahead and vote it in the system whether they want that policy to pass, instead of relying on a politician to supposedly represent their best interest. Because there's usually never a politician, even if it is an honest, not bought-off politician, which is rare. You usually don't agree with them on every single subject. It's like, I like how he agrees on this, and agrees on this, but I don't like how he likes this, or doesn't like this. So you go ahead and you just do all the voting. And then the whole computer system to prevent hacking is run both by government uh, uh, employees, and then also by private industry employees. And then all the ones that run the computer system of all these voting processes all have to have one, all their finances for the rest of their lives, subject to viewing and publicly viewable to make sure that later on years they don't receive a huge sum of money to mess with the hacking of the system. So therefore they cannot be bribed or bought off. And simply, if they don't want to have all their financial situations public to everybody, then that simply is not a job for them. And they only do it for about four years, so you cycle them out so no one can get used to it. And you just choose which ones you want to do it. So whether all these policies that we have, the people decide. Now, of course, not have everything up for vote, like, oh, let's vote to where women can't vote, or vote to have all gays executed, and stuff like that. Basically, have the laws that can be voted on now with our Constitution as it is. So, like, no favor, no mixture of religion and state. You can't vote to make Christianity or Islam the religion of the country, all that blah blah blah, those are things that cannot be voted on. But what can be voted in, in our current system, can be voted on but just by the people. The politicians, they just get elected, all they can do is talk. They have no power whatsoever. So the people truly rule the nation. Do we want to continue the war in Afghanistan? The people vote for that. Not the politicians and the and the defense contractors that buy them off to make them continue that kind of stuff so they can make a buck. And so on and so forth. So therefore, the rich and the giant corporations can't buy out the political system. What are they going to do? Send every American $2,000 to get them the policies they want? <laughs> so basically, just the people do all the voting, do this computer system, and do all they can to prevent hacking, as I 
explained earlier. And then all the sides when a bill is brought up, everyone has to say something. You don't just hear one side and have someone just go up to a podium and just say blah blah blah. They have to come up with facts and show the numbers of how it worked. Like the whole say so, oh if you tax the rich, they won't make jobs, which has never happened before. That's the argument they keep trying to make. And so therefore the people truly, they truly decide politicians do nothing but just talk about them, even though it's not really needed because the internet, we don't really need for that either. But that's how I think our political system should be changed. So, that's how personally I think it should go. Now, people will say, oh, well, there's security issues. Only a few people can know because then everyone will know. And that'll be good information for our enemies. All I say of that is, that's the price of freedom. We're already sac we've already sacrificed so many of our rights, I mean, the Fourth Amendment doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> if you want to have freedom, you're going to have to take those risks. It is not fun every time when a country sacrifices their people's freedoms for the sake of security. It's always just a <laughs> medicine for a disaster to happen. Just, that's what's happening in the United States. We're sacrificing more and more of our freedoms, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. It's like on the other thing, they've bought off all our politicians. That's why for the past 30, 40, or some odd years, we've been going down, they've been going up. And that's why, see, I don't want just regular political reform to get money out of the system. Because let's say we do do that, and then we do get good, honest politicians, and they do represent us. It's only a matter of time until it gets corrupt again. Because then the next generation will come in when the system is good, and they'll want to take all they can from it for their own personal benefit. That's what always happens. But... If you have it to the way I'd s suggested, well, how can you corrupt it? I mean, as long as you just do the whole cycle system and do your best to make sure no one messes with the numbers through the computer system, that's really the only thing to be afraid of. Because if people spout out lies, one thing can pass for two months, and the other opposition will say, okay, well, that person's lying. There is no evidence for this, etc., etc. So, my question is, would any of y'all, and especially you, Jink, I would like to get your response on this, of a political system like that, where the people vote on the policies, not just 60 senators to get something passed, no politicians have any power, they can't vote, nothing. They just talk. And then, of course, that would also be a major cut to their pay salary, and thus then the rich and the corporation would have no interest in them. So, would you be in favor of that kind of political system? Or do you want to try to clean out the system we have now and just get the money out of it and hope it won't become and hope it won't become corrupt again? I personally would prefer the computer system so the people truly rule. But of course, as I said, to where they now can't vote on anything they want, they can only vote on certain things they can vote now, so they can't take rights away from people or make all these crazy laws. So, what do you think? Please respond.